Hello students, I welcome you all once again to the e-learning sessions of automobile engineering. Myself Hardik Shah and during this lecture series we will discuss some interesting topics in the subject of automotive electricals and electronics. Okay, we have already started a new chapter and our today's topic in this video is working of fuel gauge and oil temperature gauge. Okay, I hope I, you will see this video till the end to completely understand this topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering. So, I also request you to note down any queries which arises during the lecture and ask me it in comment section. I will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible. Fine. So, now let's start our today's video. So, how does the fuel gauge work? The inconvenience of the being stranded on a road, street or highway when the tank runs dry is only surpassed by the embarrassment that comes with it. Okay. So, in any case, there is no excuse for running out of the fuel in a small city like Singapore because there is always a petrol or diesel station within a 15 minute drive. Okay. But it open and, and it also it is open day and night. A fuel gauge is a simple device as a rule of thumb it does not even indicate or calculate the quantity of the fuel in litre since all that is needed to alert the driver is only amount of the fuel that is uh, relative to the tank capacity. Okay. So, it, is only, it will only see either fuel is low or high. Okay. So, in this regard fuel gauge have just two main marking F for full, E for empty. Okay. F and E. Now, some have half marking too. So, the half tank it is showing. Okay. So, the exact quantum in the liter is a piece of information that is not critical to the driving and the info is probably meaningless to the driver anyway, even as someone obsessed with his car's fuel com uh, consumption. Okay. So, if you are like me, uh, you like to squeeze every last mile you can out of your tank your fuel. Okay. So, if you get 20 miles extra from the each tank, that could save you 2 or 3 trips to the uh, petrol pump okay, over the course of the year. Now, the main uh, Im uh, impediment to the stretching your mileage is the fuel gauge on your car, which makes you think you may have less fuel than you are actually do. Okay. So, these devices are notoriously inaccurate showing empty when they are gallons left in a tank and it is showing full for the first 50 miles. Okay. So, in this video, we will learn why our fuel gauges behave the way they do. Okay. That means, it is working and there are two main parts in the fuel gauge. The sender which measures the level of the fuel in the tank and the gauge which actually displays the level to the driver on the dashboard. Okay. First, let us see how this typical sender works. That means, what is the sensation inside the fuel tank? The basic mechanical fuel gauge consists of the very few parts and its operation relies on the same principle as a voltmeter. Okay, that is the voltage measuring analog meter. Okay. Essentially, the fuel gauge actually needs to measure the voltage across the variable resistor. Okay. But resistor must somehow vary in a direct proportion to the amount of fuel in the tank. Okay. So, to do this, within the fuel tank is a float at one end of the lever arm and slider running over the strip of the resistor at the other end. Okay, that is variable resistors. Now, known as the sending unit or sender unit, it is a vital part of the every vehicle's fuel tank and it should work flawlessly. Okay. So, as the float moves vertically inside the tank with the changing fuel level, the opposite end of the lever slides across the resistor causing the change in the voltage supply at the gauge. Okay. Finally, in a direct response, the indicating uh, needle moves to the appropriate position on the gauge. Okay. Now, because of their simplicity and reliability, the fuel measurement and its display have remained pretty much unchanged over the many years. Okay. However, like almost everything in a modern uh, car, some electronic devices have been included inside it not as a replacement for the proven classical arrangement, but giving the more complement to it. Okay. Now, incidentally, the fuel gauge 
does not provide any input to the car's onboard computer that means ecu except in some cases to reset the average fuel consumption after the tank has been refueled okay so where the electronics are used the sender unit feeds into the tiny electronic circuit to trigger the fuel low or please refuel warning light at the preset level usually accompanied by the fuel dispenser symbol okay so it provides the clear visual notification that the vehicles can travel only 30 to 60 kilometers in a remaining fuel okay in fact most of the fuel gauges are notoriously uh, pessim uh, pessimistic so as it provides plenty of alarms for the optimistic driver running on an empty tank also okay so in certain cars digital gauges with lcd or led uh, readouts have been replaced the mechanical instrument and its analog needle okay so the function of such gauges is same and the good old float arrangement continues to serve as the measuring device okay the only display method is only different fine so an electronic processor or you can say ecu receives the signal from the sender unit it converts it into the digital signals and update the same an electronic module that control the display okay so some of the systems employ a bar graph while the more recent ones produces a graphic image of the analog fuel gauge okay now here note that whatever the display no one indicates numerical value in the liters or gallons okay just it only shows e for empty f for fuel and half for the half tank okay now next is how does the oil temperature gauges works the working of the temperature of your engine is normally kept to an optimum level by the cooling system but there are occasions when your engine is worked harder and reaches temperatures higher than the normal okay now this can happen for example when you are actually towing a trailer and another vehicle so uh, 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 or if your engine has been turned for the higher performance okay it is getting the more load so as the temperature of your engine increases the engine oil also becomes thinner and thinner okay it will get hot also so it will become thinner and thinner so if the engine is run above the normal temperature for a long time there is a danger that the oil may become so thin that it can no longer lubricate the moving parts of the engine properly okay so if this happens the engine can become seriously damaged due to the less lubrication to the point where it has been uh, stripped and rebuilt or replaced completely okay so while a water temperature gauge gives a fairly accurate reading of the engine temperature via the cooling system or you can say coolant it does not directly tell you uh, tell you much about the temperature of the engine oil okay so for this you need a special oil temperature gauge okay so this is the requirement now this gauge measures the oil temperature with a sender unit similar that was used for the water gauge and fuel gauge which fits directly into the sump pan to give the accurate reading of the temperature so there is the temperature sensor also okay so oil temperature gauge can either be mechanical or it can be electrical so here uh, we can see a simple example of uh, each type of this so the lucas mechanical uh, ga gauge consists of the gauge with a capillary tube and sender unit okay you can see here and the adapter unit and the ceiling washer so the now next is the team electrical gauge consists of the gauge with the wiring which may be mounted via the brackets and the few screws and via an adhesive pad cable ties sender unit adapter nut and washers and terminal connectors okay you can see all of them here so the gauges are actually available from the accessory shops or you can say simple vendors and manufacturers and they are either mechanically or electrically operated okay so this was all about the gauges now how to read this oil gauge now uh, how you should uh, interpret the reading on the oil temperature gauge that depends on some degrees of the model of your car but uh, simply in generally for a 2 liter engine uh, when it has been running for uh, some time the, the different types of uh, indication can be like this 
So if it is between 80 to 95 degree centigrade, this is normal oil temperature for the engine and it is under not too much load. Thereafter in 100 to 110 degree, so this is normal reading if the engine is working particularly hard or on a towing or you can say on loading condition okay and above 110 degree the oil start to thin out seriously and loses its ability to lubricate the engine and it dissipate the heat from the component okay so check the level of the engine oil and inspect the sump pan to make sure that it is not covered with any deposit or dirt particles inside it okay now below 70 degree it is rare for the oil to run too cold but this can also happen with a car fitted with an oil cooler okay so if the end, uh, temperature drops below the 70 degree uh, it can be a faulty oil cooler thermostat also okay now note that here the all the engines whether or not they are fitted with an oil cooler or they are uh, prone to a low oil temperature in a cold weather even though the water temperature reads always normal okay so this is the main difference between the water level gauge and the oil temperature gauge okay so that's it in today's video we have discussed about uh, the different types of oil gauges and the fuel gauge uh, uh, different type of oil temperature meter and fuel gauge i wish you get the clear idea about this therefore if you have any more to know or have any specific query please let me know i will surely try to respond as soon as possible okay i hope you like this video thank you so much stay tuned goodbye